So then uh, we are back to continue the uh, previous uh, sharing and uh, we were uh, speaking of the uh, re-establishment of the holy line of the Hebrews and also we all so, um, can also relate the information and uh, coming from the holy line and Moses obviously he taught the people and he came down from the mountain and he taught them the ways of Yahweh the Creator. However, these then later on, when the time of Yahshua, when he came as the Yahweh Yeshua, obviously he found the city the way it should not be. It should be closed and should be a city that would be set apart for the purpose of the time. So then some people, they uh, kind of are questioning themselves, what then is the uh, church? What would be part of the existing um, system that was set by Moses. It's very simple. Those systems, those teachings that used to be in the past, they should be re-established. It's absolutely, there is no doubt about it. Because when Father Yahweh comes to the earth, those words that he spoke through Moses, those must be in place. And then some people they ask, what would be then um, the camp, or what is it like? Is precisely what the Holy Land is. Simply a perimeter of a land and there is in this land there is a place where they can plant, where they can harvest and then the Goys would be outside servicing the land for the perimeter of the tabernacle where the main teachings of the Goys are taking place. That's why, and that's what it means to be a servant. That's what Yahshua came for the first time. He came as a servant. He came to do his part as a servant. So he taught the people first, the selected people or the set apart people, that they would receive power from on high. And they would function in a certain way. And then the people outside, they would be servants servants of the perimeter where they would be teaching the Goys to form another group. So this is what Yasha came for the first time. And not only for those outside in terms of only the Goys who would do the service but also themselves as being in a set-apart camp he was removing the Goys out of their lives. And in this case, we can easily understand, for instance, when Yahshua entered the city and he found the city very contaminated he wanted them to make sure they did understand the plan of Moses. It was absolutely clear. And Yahweh Yeshua, when first he came in, found the city extremely contaminated. And parts of the anointing came, and parts of the anointing then, obviously, they were dispersed. But it was not so at first. The main understanding of what Yahshua was trying to teach them was to make sure that the perimeter was closed. And this is what they should be doing. Because there is in fact no living Torah church outside of the camp. There are merely congregations that come together to share their faiths. This is what it is. So then what would be the encouragement of the Hebrew brothers then? Obviously it would be for them to return to their, uh, their perimeters. This is what it means, because it's the only time when Yahshua said, it is for you to do and observe what Moses said for you to do and observe. Except the Takanot Masim, and this is where people, they get in trouble. They think that the Torah was eliminated and was obsoleted, showing the Torah where it's at. Where was it obsoleted? It was never obsoleted. Show in your Holy Bible where did the obsolution of the Torah was at. It was active from the first time Moses received it. There is in fact a confusion, so much confusion outside and ask them what is your gifting? 
Very simple. And then there is no answer back because there is no gifting. So then, where is the Torah? Oh, the Torah was absolute. Oh, are you sure? Where is it at? And they make their face of being caught. So then what was the main aim of Shaul? Was reminding the people they should re-establish themselves in their camps. So then the people outside would come to the gates and they would learn from them. Because there is no function of Ruach HaKodesh outside of the camp. There isn't. Only there are those people that are sent for a specific reason amongst the Goys for a specific service. But there is no function given to the Goys outside of the camp. They must be invited. And that's why Yahshua the Mashiach said, only those of the Father draws from the outside, place them in a camp. So they would form another group. Show in a scripture that is not so. Show it. And if you have the authority to say otherwise, what is your gifting first? If you think that instructions from the Creator was obsoleted, what is your authority to say so? If it was, you should be endowed with power and gifting. Where is it? So devils are caught in people very easily. That's why Yahshua, he portrayed himself as a stone. Any doctrine coming from any person, not from the Torah, they get busted. If you think the Torah was obsoleted, show it. So then Yahshua goes on and he explains what he was expecting from the city. And then Shaul reminds them that they should return to their camps and should resume what Moses said to them to do. And this is what they should be doing. So any other person coming against these words, the first they should be asked, what is your gifting? Show in the word of Elohim, in their own Bibles, where is your gifting? Then explain why isn't the Torah yet obsolete? And if it is, where it's at? In what portion of it? If you can explain these, then we may have a case. But since there isn't, then you are deceived. Much more coming up.